And we go green in Zanvort, and it looks like a really good start from Etnik Tiaran as he absolutely gets the traction done well, and Mackenda's pole position is already almost worthless as Etnik Tiaran certainly is going to and then lunge it down the inside into the bank, on and he does exactly that as Etnik Tiaran gets a little bit sideways there, and uh, Mackenda actually fights back there on side by side to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to the sky flag, but I think Etnik will have to yield there as he gets squeezed onto the grass. Mackenda keeps the lead, Copy is third, then uh, it's Danny in fourth who passed Icewind in a brutal maneuver and Luke Smith somehow already well, up to five positions or thereabouts from the start always oh, he just uh, has to get out of it there not to be on the death curb on the inside but a fantastic battle at the front between Mackenda and Etney who uh, both uh, wouldn't give it up and it's Mackenda who from yeah and uh, I mean that battle was so great I called the winner multiple times there is now McKen no uh, Luke runs out of ERS there on Justin he seems to have a lot more straight line speed though and he somehow just makes it work on the mediums against the softs that's illegal what are you doing Watch is that Mercedes breeze pass and uh, I don't know how well valuable the medium tires are here but depending on what exit might already have brought himself into a fighting position for the race but now through the bank corner it looks like Justin is getting a little bit of a better run but uh, nothing doing there on the straight as uh, the slipstream isn't nearly as powerful as he would need it to be. T Tilda and Dragon just behind as well. Tilda was uh, maybe yeah. getting the run oh. down Brilliant the hill run. now. Yeah, really got the foot done well but Tilda apparently using some battery there uh, to get away from uh, the LP now into Sky like so down here. with Tilda. You know, you can't be busy with Tipsy Bob. Yep, absolutely right. Danny uh, still hanging on to the front three. He's got ice wind behind him, but uh, as we said before, a few. Uh, yeah, that's something about as he completely understeers off the track in turn three. He's just made a move on Thor, and there goes the safety car. car. <laughs> there it and is. As expected, but that was a really big one. I have no idea. Too early that. to pit, and I don't think you want to pit uh, here for hards this early because uh, you might get them to the end. I'm not sure, but it, it's slow, and a green flag pit stop actually isn't much of a problem here. <laughs> he just. Uh, Going halfway down the pit lane. Teammate. Yeah, exactly. Um, Justin is pitting though, so Justin okay. is the only one of the top ten. Matteo Longe, yeah, he's gonna find competition here. That's on the <laughs> pit lane, and McKenda will get to dictate the pace, and it looks like he's already gone. I hope we didn't miscalculate that because uh, the grid is now uh, flying towards the start finish. He hasn't miscalculated, and that is your safety car restart. Towards McKenna. the start finish, he hasn't miscalculated, and that is your safety car restart. McKenna has uh, saved himself from any attack. But Luke Smith is already on the inside of Icewind, going into 1 for P5, and he's going to get squeezed into the wall. Luke Smith straight uh, straight off to 1 for P5, and he's going to get squeezed into the wall. Luke Smith straight, uh, straight off, and now he faces the wrong way and ha will have to let the entire grid go uh, after that collision with Icewind. The FA is certainly going to have an interested eye on that one. Uh, but yeah, screen. Oh, what's happened here? He made a rare mistake. Luke Smith just out of uh, the race, basically. And now Etnik, his championship rival, does exactly the same. He drops down to yeah, P11. Certainly got damage oh, from that. Is the way. next one round, it's a McLaren, and it is in the same position as the Mercedes of Vexit. I don't know if it also happened the same way, or if he just looped himself on traction. Uh, his car, his car yeah, is down. That's probably a good decision. Uh, meanwhile, Tilda holding up Tipsy and both of them holding up Dragon. Dragon on the mediums at the moment in the middle of the pack. There's a little bit of a gap forming between Tilda and Icewind in front of him. Right. DRS is enabled, but not this lap. Oh, uh, that run was so good. Yeah, but Tipsy's getting slipstream from Tilda, which is the problem oh, for Dragon. Dragon sending one a little bit down the inside. Tipsy leaving room. And Dragon, I think, will get that position. He, he got good bravery traction. To make it work on the brakes and finding uh, and finding that position. Now he's sick and he's right behind Tilda. Tilda, under massive pressure. You can see that riding on board with Tipsy in my case right now. Tipsy in my case right now. That uh, Dragon is hungry and he's going to get DRS and he's going to get Slipstream. Yeah, and I would have thought he's going to get the position. Bebix has retired, unfortunately. Dragon, I think, is close enough here to have a very good look. In fact, he's going to be passed before they get to turn one and he's going to be unleashed on those medium tires. He pulls low and uh, is going to use that battery to get past Ocean Chief and it works a treat as Ethnic TRN is now up to 8th and the next Irishman is... Runners pitting in the near field. Oh, Tipsy, Tipsy has crashed. Tipsy has crashed on the exit of turn 2. Yeah, fully destroyed at front wing. Copy in the slipstream, McKenna pulls to the inside, squeezes Copy up to the wall, but Copy is fully committed to this one. They're both going to run a little bit deep, McKenna carries a lot of momentum, the apex of turn three, and uh, doesn't get the run out, so Danny 
very aggressive there. Not not rewarded for it. Poppy will have to stay at the back of that Alfa Romeo for just one more lap as well. well at manages least. to avoid him. That was uh, it was good driving from Thor. Meanwhile, these three on the front straight once again. We're going to get round two here as McKenda and Copy. In fact, McKenda just pits. Uh, Copy does not. So McKenda's going to put the medium tyres on, I think. Solid pace uh, compared to his Delta. He didn't really lose much. But uh, yeah, the clear direction is uh, to the right hand side. Safe pit entry, not like what we saw from Ex of Exit earlier on. And uh, now Danico is unleashed into fresh and clear. Yeah, and what is the gap between those two? It's almost nothing. Icewind lost a little bit oh, of time, death. though. Icewind, who so did manage to. Oh, yeah, it's a Red Bull of. Thor. Is it Thor? Yeah, it is Thor. Yep. He spun on the exit of turn one. Um, uh, but yeah, Copy uh, Copy didn't Wait, lose Meepo. much time. And now both spun independently as Meepo struggling <laughs> back towards the track. He's just oh, waiting. No. Oh no! Thor <laughs> takes the lead in that brilliant fight as Meepo. Oh, stop Meepo. doing donuts! No, you oh, yeah, Edney is yeah, uh, finally Edney coming in for his pit stop. As, uh, where was he before, actually? Like, before everyone started pitting? What position uh, was he I think he, he was he was 6th or 7th, I think. He made a lap. Sad time. Oh, Meepo. Um, Maybe if you had spun only half the amount of time <laughs> to him, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, he did He did do a full 720, so it's not all that surprising. Uh, oh, Meepo, so though, is he going to send one? He's coming! He's on the oh, inside! That's not He's a good idea. Oh, stands. no. Copy, just a little bit of impatience Ferrari there. Ferrari for like about 10 laps and that could be really costly. Is there goes Etni. Yeah, yeah, down the inside of his, uh, of his teammate. Copy does not cover the inside. And so Etnik Tiaran makes up the place up into seventh, uh, which is, uh, I don't know what, what net position that is. Looking like. very good indeed for Danny, who's uh, made those medium tires work. McKenda really needs to clear Justin this lap if he possibly to, can. Uh, need to get past their rivals and Justin is going to cover the inside but I think he's going to be completely helpless as McKenda goes past and yeah. Icewind is likewise going to get past before they Soft get to tires. so it's going to be what is that a 14 oh, lap Dragon! Dragon has got it wrong he's uh, oh, no. spun out of the final corner must have caught the curb wrong I don't see another way to loop um, there it's actually really sad he was probably just two corners and like 400 meters away from fresh tires but he looped it I yeah, mean. that is very unfortunate. Danny's come out of the pits, though, ahead of his teammate uh, on different laps, of course. Uh, but he's only two. Uh, is in that lead. Justin is on the medium tyres, but he won't, I don't think, be able to get to the end on them. They're already 17 laps old. He's hanging with McKenda at the moment, but I don't know for how long that's going to last. What happens then, Justin would be in a fine spot, but right now uh, he looks like he's just going to be an absolutely sitting duck to the Ferrari of Danny. 60% of charge left. I don't even think Justin has much of a reason to defend Very good news for Danny, because yeah. he is now released. Yeah, that makes the point I was going to make obsolete. <laughs> Justin no longer serving as a buffer for McKenda, a buffer for McKenda there. And uh, that means McKenda is now in a terrible spot compared to Danny. He's got the track position, and that is literally all that he has got on Danny. Oh, yeah. As he uh, pulls to the outside, and he's going to try and carry as much speed as he can through Taz, and then he keeps his nose ahead, and Danny Ko is into the lead, and he's in a perfect position to win his second race. In oh, will surely be able to, do, to hold this in second, and Ednick Tiarin's gotten past Iceman yeah. while all of that was happening, so the action unfolding on lap 26 is I wild. Struggle as well towards the end, because they will get a little bit worn, and Icewind has lost DRS here on Etni, which is Bad news, because he's got another Williams just behind him. Oh, yeah, but that was probably just out of um, too much uh, impatience from Copy. Um, though he can't be too patient against Icewind either. The clock is ticking against him. Um, did Icewind get back into the window? He might have. So Not close. 5,000, Not just like McKenna. Um, Icewind misses out barely on the... Uh, on the DRS window and Copy gets uh, close to a scary extent as he sets a purple third sector. Copy is on fire and right so now. That's uh, the wrong Ferrari off. It is Meepo. <laughs> oh, I, around the outside Copy. goes Copy. Had a good go there around the outside. Got a lot of overspeed into turn one. Oh. Icewind is hanging on a little bit of wheel banging. Copy gets oh, the I position. I felt comfortable watching Meepo spin round there because... Uh, <laughs> because I never thought that Copy could make that one work seven tenths off, but uh, cutting back to it on my end, I just yeah, see I him. I would have thought so. Thor trying to get to the end on mediums from that pit stop. He's got five laps to go, and we'll keep an eye on him because uh, I suspect a puncher is inbound for Thor. You can see him slowing down a lot. He knows that he needs to be close. Copy has battery, though. Is the oh, issue? Oh, almost loses it. 
Oh, oh, don't do that to me, I swear. Not after last week. I don't want a repeat of that. Oh, my lord, as uh, Meepo exits the pits for some reason. I don't know why he pitted, but he did. But, yeah, yeah. but uh, one thing that we can call is that this is the second win of Danny's SLR career and it comes one race after the first win. He is on a streak, the guy, and uh, wins brilliantly in Zandvoort after crashing and qualifying there. And I'm sure, uh, apologies for the black screen, if I go to the, uh, if I go to the, yeah, I, I, fig I figured we might, I figured we might have Mr. Danny to bring in, why yeah. can't I drag Danny this is in? in a row and then... Well, I don't know. What, what's going to happen then, Danny? Tell us. <laughs> uh, championship 9. 